to to match out to that 500 and this 20 I also need to create something why because these are on the bank side but they're not on the book side and that means that either the bank is wrong which it usually isn't or I didn't add it to the book side and therefore I'm going to add them notice that if you were adding all of your information from the bank feeds you would basically be doing this the whole time right you would just pull your information from the bank feeds and build your books from the bank feeds but that's not a full service accounting system as much right as if we match the two out and again it will be dependent upon the type of industry you're in as to whether that would be something you can do or not this is a withdrawal so we're going to say the withdrawal was taken out money was taken out remember that if you're a bookkeeper and you're doing bookkeeping for other people you would like to tell them don't take money out directly unless it's a draw for personal use because there's no audit trail if you took money out and you spent it for business use we don't have an audit trail we would like to have an audit trail if it's a legitimate business expense especially in the United States because if there's an audit we want to be able to show that you paid for something legitimate and if you paid for it with cash that becomes more difficult you have to then add up your receipts and whatnot so cash is what you what people spend on things when they don't want people to know what they're spending the money on usually usually right I mean so so we want to know what you're spending the money on and then on your personal stuff you can pay it with cash so that uh so that you know we don't need to track whatever you're doing there I don't want to know right whatever but in any case so here so that's what we're going to say happened this time they took the money out and it's a draw they took the money out as a draw so I'm going to say all right uh that means this went to the owner let's just make an owner account and then let's say that this is going to be a draw let's see that's going to be an equity account now what we don't want to do is put a draw in here as an expense why because that'll hit the income statement and it wasn't an expense it was the owner taking money out of the company if it's an expense it would be a deduction or a write-off for taxes in the United States which would be incorrect and you could get in trouble for if you did that you know especially on purpose <laughs> but in any case here's the owner's capital draws they have an account for us that's the one we want so I'm going to hit that I'm going to say this is a draw draw and then that looks good and I will expand it out here and so now we've got basically the direct payment the money out February 28 is I'm going to put the date on it it gave me this second line I don't really need that so I'm going to delete that the 500 is good it's going to the draw account what's this going to do it's going to record a transaction which is going to decrease the checking account and the other side is going to go to equity draws not to the income statement let's save the transaction and check it out so all right and then reconcile hold on I tried to check both of them off I just want the draw not the staples not the staples just the draw okay so let's try it again reconcile again okay and so let's see if it recorded it let's go back to the balance sheet and we're going to say in Feb we should have a decrease I'll leave to the checking for the 500 that we recorded from the bank feeds for the draw that was taken out that the owner took and spent somewhere that we don't want to know about whatever and so let's see this is on 28 500 draw where is it here it is there's too much stuff in the 520 or 228 there's the draw all right back up top the other side did not go to the income statement but rather we put it down into the equity section as a draw so scrolling down equity section we've got the owner's uh capital it should be in the draw so there's the draw right there now now note that this is how you would like things to basically work the the company earn when the company starts up you'll recall that we had to put money into the company with an investment from the owner which isn't income but an investment we don't want to put it on the income statement otherwise we would be recognizing income that is an income we have to put it on the equity statement doesn't hit the income statement and then hopefully over time the company makes money as they make money the cash accounts going to go up hopefully we can use that cash to then buy more equipment to build the business 